Hello, hello. I am Ashen Ninja, and this is Grand Hierophant Kartep. Uh, we're going to actually fight this battle manually. May as well. For some how to kill the Druchi accent. I say, I don't know how to speak. Now, they do mostly have uh, spearmen units, which is fine. No big deal for us. Oh, but we have the worst possible map for anything ever. So what we're going to do is we're going to build our little wall of skellies. Behind that wall of skellies is going to be there. Them. They're going to move over there. Leech priests. Kartep and him will all be up the front. As will he. And we're going to have to try and get everyone up onto the flat straight away. So let's do that. Now, let's get the Tomb Prince up well up the front. Uh, you go up the front as well. Let's drop that down. There we go, that's good. Oh, that's not good there. Let's get this down. Get it, get stuck in my boy. So if we can keep them away from our lines a bit, we'll really be able to wreck them. But I don't think we're going to be able to do that too well. Oh, we don't want him to come and pull, pull him out of that. Jeez. See if we can. Uh, that's not good. Go. Well, we got him out of it, so that's good. Uh, you two hit that still. You two are going to change your target to over there. Hook into that, please. There's our buff spells and things. Yeah, push him back that way. Keep away. Play, keep away. Oh, I forgot I've got Sandstorm as well. That's looking pretty good there. Right. Let's bolster them a bit. had a healing spell that I gave him. Sure I did. Where is it? That one there. Oh, it's a map-wide heal that goes on everyone. Okay, that's fine. He's actually doing very well there. 
He's doing very badly, so we're going to pull him back here. Through them. Looks like... Oh, yep, I've lost one of my units over here. That's okay. We can do this. There we go. Another healer's up there. And we've won. So, yep, we lost one of our spearmen in this, but that's all right. They've gone and lost their entire army. Probably a fair bit of friendly fire in that. Really, that tells me what I should have done is auto-resolved that battle. <laughs> oh, well, that's okay. Uh, not using the sandstorm abilities that um, that Kartep has was a bit silly as well. So uh, you can use that. Once more, we'll continue to sack it. More Channel Valley Necrotex are always good. Open the casket of soul and well. ah, we're going to have to disband what. Anyway, to fit another prince in. So overall, not too big a loss. Especially considering I can actually re-recruit them anyway. With just one turn, so not really a big deal. Still nobody I want there. We're still going to do our little bit of... Oh... That guy we do want. How long, much longer do we have left on this? Three turns. Okay. The treacherous one is who we want. It has been decided. Oh, oh. Uh, off the jars. We've got to put off the jars on them. Uh, where is it? Rename. Off the jars. Go and he's fine. Cool. Now you four more turns and for it to level up. We've got three more turns of that. So that's good. Unassigned skill points here. Another point in banishment. Let's have a look. Go okay, with tomb strike. Uh, Leech Priest, get your magical reserves. Hartep himself. I can't recruit you shoved yet, but I'm not too far off it. I'll put the point in that. I'm going to put it in there anyway, so... I may as well, may as well go nuts. Becomes us. Good, good, good. All right, no. I'm not going to do more. We're just going to get sit on that. And I forgot to keep one of the heroes for more uh, things. Ah, oh, damn! They're going to lose it to the fucking. To them again. Okay. Alright, what we'll do is we will go like this. And we will raise it. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't mean we can actually head back in here. But that's okay. Alright, let's see. You've got that. Two turns until we can go up now. Got both of them now. Yep, you just sort of sit there for a bit. Thank you. Uh, let's see, we've got. Yep, so we do. Oh, there's prepared as well. If only I could have two armies. Prepared is actually really good for. We're not actually going to get Tomb Scorpions anytime soon. Uh, 
It's so annoying. I want both. Uh, you know what? Here. I'm going to do this. I'm going to get the... I am going to get the treacherous uh, one, because they're going to be rarer. Of course, saying that's probably not going to end up being very rare at all. And I'm going to learn to spell, maybe. Not going to worry about that upgrade. He's going to get an upgrade, though. Uh, to print. Uh, we're going to go with speed. Because we're going to put him on his chariot once we get to level 10 with him. Speed is good when you're a chariot. Born Trespasser. Encountered the vessels of chaos. You want a non-aggression pack? I'll, I'll actually accept that for now. It's a fairly conditional one for me. Oh, jeez. Okay. Making Chaos Army going nuts here. Uh, we're going to go in Ambush Stance and just kind of hide from that. If they're always sealed at all, that's good for us. Doesn't tell us though. Okay, doesn't actually say they're at war. Doesn't say they're not though. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. Alright, so that goes away after this turn. So let's get the Treacherous King. We'll give him that. Uh, and there's a few there that'll be really good for him, but for the now, we're going to grab that. Uh, he's going to want the Tomb Scorpions, that one. Um, and the other one I'm going to give him is Archers and Screaming Skull Catapults. Yes. Yes, and uh, next turn I'll be able to upgrade that. And shortly after I'll be able to upgrade that and I'll be getting more archers from there. Alrighty, good stuff. Okay, so we've got him. Uh, we need to recruit him some spearmen. That's all he can get for now. Can't get him one of them. We could get him a treacherous one of them, but it says Lord's Army, not Hero's Army. So what I've actually found is that doesn't work. Uh, so it doesn't actually do anything because he's not the Lord. If it says Hero's Army, you're all good. But because it says Lord's Army, it don't do squat. Don't do squat. Scrap. Makes me talk weird. Yeah. Alright, I've encountered Clark on now. Uh, which probably isn't very good. The jars, yep. Highborn, cool. You. Uh, actually, before we do that. Is there anything I can give? Because he's got... Uh, that's Skeletal Labourer. Do we have any more of those? Because that doesn't do the, that one. So if we've got another one of those, I'd like to give it to him. Before we go and... No, I'll give him one of them. That's cool. That's already cheaper though, so... Hooray for that. Three turns until it goes up a level. Eternal is not good enough. That's alright. Gonna move you out this way now. That's okay. 
you are going to get your arcane conduit. You are going to get that one there, which increases my lord recruit ranks. Now, if Sulfurets blows up, awesome. If it doesn't blow up, I have to think about what I'm going to do. Uh, if it does blow up, we're actually going to, I'm going to start sending that lord along behind that chaos army to, to reoccupy some of these things. Never mind. They've been destroyed themselves. Bring him down. I mean, I still might just occupy. Now, I'd still like more Charnel Valley Necrotex, but... You can't always get what you want. Alright, first... There we go. So overall, we're actually still getting a lot from our characters anyway. Uh, two more turns and we'll be able to upgrade that as well. I don't have as much money coming in now that I'm not uh, nicking everything from here. Let's have a see if we can search Titan Peaks again. We can, and we have to do a Sudoku this time. Last time it was the Head Twister, this time it's the Head Scratcher, and I'm bad at Sudoku. When I say bad, I mean awful at Sudoku. But what I'm very good at is looking at websites and finding answers. Which is why I'm such a great IT person. Uh, actually, we're going to pop him into... Yeah, we'll pop him into the other army. And that'll work well. Kind of hard to hit from that. Good, good. Return 27. We're only in episode 2. So, because things uh, for Tomb Kings do go so slow and you're pump through the turns it's kind of just the way it is uh, it speeds up greatly once you start sort of really embedding yourself in perfect okay so they're going to attack me which is bad Rictus has been destroyed which is good we'll dig elsewhere because we are now getting there you go, Charnel Valley Necrotect. Uh, we're now getting uh, jars at an okay rate. Getting enough that they are building up. Why the fuck are we not getting anything any good here, though? Is my question. Wait, what? No. Well, three points there. Yep. There we go. <laughs> Got it that time. Excellent. So now, that, that was very good of them to do this. I'm going to bring him up. Everybody gets experience here. It's the experience shop. Congratulations. Thank you for coming. I'll see you in hell. That means he now gets to start getting. Uh, I'm just going to put him ambush mode here. Actually, because I've got him in ambush mode there, I'll put him there. Do you see the cunning plan? I bet you do. I'm basically just setting a trap. Uh, Mr. Hierophant, uh, you know what, I think I'm actually going to start his red line now. Let's get that going. Now, one thing you do want to do with Tomb Kings as well, as you actually are creating these things... Oh, wait, that's Tomb Prince, isn't it? Oh no, that's minus 8 for the local region. Never mind, I want the hit points and melee attack then. Get him his 
chariot next turn. Our next uh, thingy. Uh, we're going to move the leech priest over here as well. So they've each got one. Good, good. So now that we've got so many channel now, channel nally neck gets. Need to learn to speak. Excellent. Got their ambush in. Taking all the cash. Another channel valley necrotech, that's good. Mission successful. Have 250 kind of jars, okay, yep. Yeah. Cool. Alright, what I'm actually gonna do now is occupy Titan Peak. So that secures that. Sort that out. That can go up a level. I've got the money at the moment, so we'll put even the Nehakara Warrior building up a level. Get rid of him. Get a new... Leech Priest. Again, every time I still nearly disband him just straight away. Now, this one is good for Screaming Skull, Catapults, Bone Giants and that sort of stuff. I'm not going to be putting them in here. I'm going to be putting you shoved in here. Uh, only one of these actually works for you shoved here. So for the moment, Arrows of Seraph is a good one to be putting these things in. Uh, we'll recruit him a couple of those here. And since he's here as well, you can recruit one too. Priest is now level 15. And we'll success chance Hero's Army. Uh, we'll actually increase his missile resistance first. Pop that one in there. So, yeah, we want to try and increase our uh, the amount we get from. Uh, research rate as much as possible. Some rate. Uh, public order. I think we're going. We need public order the most at the moment. Let's have a bit of a di deeper dive into where all of our Charnel Valleys are. He's got one. So that's thirty percent. So forty-five percent. What's that? Sixty percent. Seventy-five percent. This will be ninety percent if he's got one. He does. Beautiful. So yeah, about 90% reduction. So if we have a look at the next cost of that's 1400 gold. That's without some of those equipped yet. Uh, right available, sand right, plus 50% sandstorm attrition, okay. Not going to worry about that at the moment. How long until that's ready again? Seven more turns. Alright, that's good. It's a good way to get your early artillery in your casket to souls. And of course that helps, they help with magic as well, so it's just, yeah, overall, really good. So his current target is Sildra Tor, we are going to attempt to take out the remainder of them. So that we've got a little bit of a base going on here. Uh, there is attrition. Probably because of K 
Chaos, which is fine. So we're just going to move them to the edge for the moment. All right, so 400 gold. Thank you. That actually also affects your burial chamber for your bone giants as well. So that becomes super cheap. Now we're going to get a Shabti. He's going to go away. And we're going to get a new one. But we're not going to get a very good one. Again. Really do with some good ones. That's alright. Stuck through this just this end turn as well. See if we can hit Sulfurets. Try and cut off any Dark Elf army that decides it wants to come this way. No, oh, that's fine. Not a problem. Uh, Titan Peak can grow, so we're going to do that. And I'm actually also just going to pop in the growth building. It only cost me 100 gold. Uh, Necrotex are awesome. Uh, you will encircle there. We will back him up. There's quite a bit of chaos corruption in this province, so that's not good for our public order. We're just going to occupy this. Uh, mercenaries are wrong. We'll, go, we'll have a look at this one. We're not going to actually recruit any, but we'll pop some in. Uh, let's force march him back over this way. It's always the possibility he may get attacked by something doing this as well. We'll see. Get rid of that. So we're going to want to put in uh, a happiness building, I think. You can disappear. Uh, still nothing. Still nothing. Ooh, he is now getting his Casket of Souls mount. Looking beautiful. Uh, you can get your steed. That's good. And you can have your chariot. Very good turn for them. Uh, you don't get your steed yet. You've still got to get your arcane conduit. You don't get your chariot yet. We've got to get you better conqueror. Uh, and you can have arrows of seraph. Even though we are, he's the treacherous one, isn't it? Isn't he? Yep. So we're actually, gonna, I'm going to put him. Uh, just so that he's got a title that tells me what he is. And what we can expect from him. Alright, there we go. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, I hope we're on our way to enjoying this. Hopefully you guys are. Anyway, if you're not, let me know as well. And I can uh, change things up if it's not actually very interesting. Okay, well, that's going to be it. I've been Ash Ninja. This has been Kartep. I will see you in the next episode. We will finish off Sildra Tor. Then I plan on going after the Cult of Pleasure. Because the city, ancient city of Quintex, it needs a new owner. And I think I'd do a good job. Good job. Anyway, catch you later.